Hey guys, we have another quarter pipe challenge here. So this time around we will do a difficult medium difficulty. So uh, this one called run length. So again, 10 points and description. Uh, for this challenge, you will uh, determine the run length encoding of a string. So yeah, let's roll. All right, let's uh, read. Uh, have the function run length, so uh, takes a string parameter uh, be, uh, being passed and return a compressed version of string using the runtime encoding algorithm. Algorithm works by taking uh, the occurrence of each repeating character uh, and outputting that number long, long with a single character of the repeating sequence. For example, we have WWGGOP would return uh, three W uh, two Gs one O two P. So, so numbers go first. Uh, string will not uh, uh, contain any numbers, so we don't need to worry about validation in this case and such. But again, during interview, just ask what you might expect. Uh, do not assume uh, upfront. Especially, it might be verified during unit tests as they run uh, or test cases as they run out there. So again, another example: we run uh, A to B. We have this, and in this case, we have another two cases. Again, you can create even more cases calling uh, console uh, just to make it uh, make it happen. So yeah, as usually, changes are within functions. So we delete this. So, from this perspective, again, it's not formatted appropriately, but we got the idea. We have our results, we have our counter, and again, this code defines a function as it keeps, again, takes an input parameter, uh, a str, as we discuss it, as we see here, as given. The function iterates over strings and keeps track of count. Uh, of each repeating character. So whatever character changes function adds count uh, and uh, characters to uh, result string and resets the count. Finally the function will return a string. Uh, resulting string is a compressed version of input string using run length uh, coding algorithm. So yeah, all that all good. Let's run our code. Hold on, let's clean it up. Looks like what we needed. Let's run the cases. Input output correct. Input output correct. Uh, uh, so again, additional codes uh, here. Uh, so if current uh, characters uh, the same, we will increase the counter. If it's different. Uh, uh, from the line of count, we will uh, we'll, uh, go to the network and reset the counter. Okay, so from that perspective, if we're ready, let's uh, run uh, test cases. We did actually, so let's go with submission. So again, it will run the code out there. Uh, uh, test cases, additional that we don't have. so. Again, you need to be a certain or again add your own test cases if you have time during a true interview process. We're submitting and look at that. We got another batch out there. So it's a thingy. Uh, so let's see what's happened. Uh, so majority users uh, yeah, got 10 points or zero points, which is makes sense. Uh, or you just solve it or you probably will drop it. So uh, and and time varies, which is interesting. So again, people take times to kind of redo and such. So yeah, now and now we get it. So uh, again, it was a coder challenge for a coder byte uh, run length. Again, it was implementation in JavaScript. As usually, uh, you can grab a copy of the code. 
in uh, in the description uh, below the video so again if you would like to see any uh, specific implementations that bugging you or you want to go through details just let me know or other languages uh, for solution implementation just let me know thank you for watching see you next time guys bye